Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have something amazing. We have Samsung One UI 3.0 running on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So in this video, we're gonna look at all the new features. Now this one right here is the S20 Ultra, and you can already see some of the differences. If I go into my About Phone, and if I go into my Software Information, you'll see we have Android One UI 3.0 with Android 11, all right? Now when I pull this down, and if I go to my setting, about phone, go into my software information, as you can see we have Android 10 with One UI 2.5. So let's dive in and look at all the new features, which are many on One UI 3.0, and also compare it side by side with the One UI 2.5. All right, so let's look at some of the obvious things that are, in, that are in the forefront. So the first thing that has changed is the actual volume rocker. So when I press this, now we have a nice looking little vol volume rocker, okay? I can tap over here, which is gonna expand and give me even more options. From here, I can go into the settings. So if I tap this, if I tap the three dots, expands, I can tap here, go straight into the options. That is gonna be different from this one right here, which is on the top and expands downwards. Now it is on the side. One more thing you can do is if I tap here, I can kill the volume or make it go back to where it was right away. And also, again, if I tap this, tap over here, I have the live caption feature that I can turn on and off right here, which is the same thing you would see at the bottom here, but now the graphics are much nicer. So this is absolutely fantastic new addition. Now one more amazing feature that comes straight from Android 11 is when we play a music. So let's play a music real quick. Let me go to my Google Play Music application. I'm just gonna play this music right here, okay? Now when you pull down the notifications panel, you will now see a music controller on the top of the actual notifications panel. And of course you can pause, play, and do everything right from here, even uh, give this, and even give this song a thumbs up right from here. And if you tap on this icon here, it allows you to choose where you want to output the actual sound to. So in this case, we only have my phone, but if I connected some Bluetooth players, they would be listed here as well, and I can project the sound anywhere that I please. All right, so that's brand new, straight from Android 11. Looks fantastic. Another really huge change, if I go to my phone, okay, and if I go into my settings, even you'll see it says N, that means new. Go to my settings, here's a brand new option known as call background option. You tap on this guy, now when somebody calls you, you can have a special background for that person. Anything before One UI 3.0 does not have that option. Now we do. We can change the layout by tapping this. I can have this layout, no problem, okay? Look at that, the name becomes small. Icon goes to the right here. Icon, is, everything is centered, okay? So let's keep this one. Tap on background. I can add any background I want from my gallery or I can choose this video, uh, background, or if I record a video with my phone, I can add that as a background. So let's do one example. Here's a couple photos. If I tap on this photo, that becomes the background image of that call. So if somebody calls me, that's what I'm gonna see in the actual background. So we do have that new call background feature. The next change comes in the notifications panels. Now there's a lot of stuff going on here, and I will let you know real quick. I am not using the dark mode, okay? So when you pull this down, you'll see that there is a stronger blur in the background as opposed to this solid white. So you get that sense of translucency on this side. And also, if you look carefully, the search button, the power button, the settings button, and the three dots over here has moved to the top, okay? Now, when I tap on this one and this one, it's all the same, but it's moved to the top, to the corner. And when I tap on the power button, uh, all these things kind of look the same. The color is a little bit different here. Again, this is a beta, so it's not, it is not finalized, but that's what it is, okay? So you can also take a look at these options. They all look a little bit different. Again, you got the translucence background, and then media and devices have shifted from the bottom to the top right over here. And if I tap on this small arrow here, okay, you'll see it's the same exact thing uh, for the brightness slider. And finally, if you look over here, the clock has come to the middle 
as opposed to top corner over here. So those are the changes in the notifications panel. Now one more thing, as I swipe back and forth, there is a bit of an animation happening here. It's a little more smooth and silky, okay? The way they have it done. And if I were to go to my button orders, if I wanna rearrange this, tap on edit buttons, okay? You'll see we have a slightly uh, different look. Here it says button orders, here it says edit buttons, and now uh, the available buttons are over here and the active ones are at the bottom you can see the difference, okay? It looks a little bit different. And these two over here are brand new. I'll come back to these guys. Let's grab these and put them over here. That's enhanced processing. And that is the minimal battery use. Now these are all gonna be battery related, all right? Other than that, all the options in the panel is in fact the same. All right, let's move on. Now I do wanna quickly talk about the dark mode. So right now, I am not in the dark mode. So you can see the translucence background. If I pull this down, we got the flat. If I go to my settings, okay, if I go to display, display, here's the dark mode, let's switch. So transitions to dark, transitions to dark. Now when I go out, and if I pull this down, again, you get dark translucency as opposed to uh, this one right here, which is again, flat okay so that's just one difference of course we can change them from here and here no problem all right now in the home screen let me launch a couple applications here let's launch the phone application let's launch the uh best buy application let's do the phone application right here let's do one more application calendar calculator okay by the way let's take a look at if there's any changes with the calculator okay it looks all the same so the applications are mostly the same with some slight color variations. But so I open a couple applications, now I wanna tap on the Recents button, okay? And you're gonna notice a quick difference. So this one is a flat animational movement. So there's no animations, it just goes back and forth. This one actually has a bit of an animation. So this window is larger than the other window. So if you look over here, all the windows are the same size. Here, we have a slight animation. This window is larger, and as the window comes in, it becomes slightly larger as the other window gets smaller, and looks like the overall animation, there's a little more bounciness here, as opposed to this one. This is more flat and straight to the point. This one's a little bit more bouncy and animative, all right? So that's another thing right here. Let's check one more thing, tap, tap, over here, setting, settings, it's all the same. They have removed the customization service. Hopefully, it never makes it in here, okay? That's good. All right, another one of my favorite changes. Now I can double tap on the screen to turn off the phone. With this one, I couldn't ever do it. Now to enable that feature, you go to your settings, you go to your advanced features with One UI 3.0, and then you scroll down to motion and gestures, all right? And then double tap to sleep option. So once you enable this, you go to your home screen, double tap, it's locked, beautiful. Double tap to wake it up. We have a brand new lock screen. Let's compare them real quick, okay? The fingerprint icon has changed. As you can see, they look a little bit different. On the top, we have a lock symbol. So when I unlock something, that symbol is probably gonna unlock it if you use face unlock. So the lock screens look a little bit different, not a huge difference, okay, as you can see. Everything else in the same location. So everything else is gonna be the same except for the new icon, okay? And that lock icon on the top. All right, let's go inside. Now one more thing, if I go into my settings, okay, what you're gonna notice on the top is uh, this little profile icon here, which when you tap takes you into your profile, has moved right here. So I can tap on this one, which also takes me to the same area and of course, it looks a little bit different. Again, new one UI 3.0. So there's only one search button here, and there's a button and the profile, but that has moved down. Now, if you look at these guys side by side, you'll notice connections, the breakdown is a little bit different. It says Wi-Fi dot Bluetooth dot data usage. Here it says sound mode, comma, ringtone, comma, volume. So you'll notice that dot formation here, and here you have the commas, all right? Now, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys that is very important. If you go to your display, okay? If you scroll down and you go into your edge panels, in this one, in One UI 3.0, we don't have the edge lighting option here anymore. It has moved, I'll show you where that is. 
Uh, if I go over here to edge screen, the edge lighting is here. Otherwise, everything is mostly the same, the panels and everything, with slight changes to the names. For example, here it says edge panels, here it says edge screen, which covers the panels and the lighting. Now, where do they move the actual edge lighting? What you now do is you go to your notifications, okay? You go to main screen, you go to notifications, and when you have everything enabled to brief, what you can do is you can tap on brief pop-up settings, and then over here you have access to edge lighting style. So if I tap on this one, you get the same exact menu, okay? Nothing new, you can see that it's a little bit different. This one is a little more expanded. This one is a little bit more collapsed, but, but mostly the same. So that's where the edge lighting is gonna reside in. It's gonna be under your notifications. And of course, talking about the notifications, the pop-up settings are also new, all right? Let's go back here. We can go from brief notifications when you get a pop-up to detailed notifications. When you get a detailed notification, it gives you where the message came from, for example, and the, the text message in the body. With this one, it just shows you where it came from, and also it gives you a uh, quick edge lighting and few other options right here. So notifications have definitely changed. Let's get the other menu here. Notifications menu in the main screen, okay? You can see that they're different now, as you can see. And then of course you can tap here and you, you can include any app that you want uh, to use the pop-up style notification. All right, so let's move on. Now one more difference that we have is when I press and hold the buttons on these icons, okay, you get a different styled layout. So over here, let me go to gallery, press and hold. Look at how they have changed a little bit, okay? You can select, you can remove, or you can search the gallery. You can select, you can search the gallery. Now if I grab this, let me grab this, put it on the uh, main screen here. I wanna see how it behaves on the actual home screen, okay? So if I press and hold, look at that. A slightly cleaner, more compressed look over here. Here we have separate sections. Doesn't matter, I like them both, but this is the new version. Let's do one more, let's go to the phone, okay? Take a look at the difference. This is separated, but these are all in one package right over here. So that's changed as well. Now we do have some changes in our device care, so I'm gonna go here, that's our settings, go all the way down, oops, all the way down. Uh, there is the device care, and it also says now battery. With this one, again, the settings are gonna look a little bit different. This one says just device care. So tap and tap looks almost the same until you go in here, okay? Once you're here, you'll notice we have a new screen here that you can access right from here. Normally, you have to click the battery usage to access that screen, okay? So that's great, but also, when I go to my power mode, tap on this one, you can see that we have brand new power mode, savings mode uh, menu. So when you turn this on, you can modify things from here. First, you have to turn this off, make your modifications, turn off always on display, limit the CPU to 70%. You can turn these off and then turn on power savings mode, okay? Uh, with this one, that equals to medium power savings mode, as you can see. So these options kind of match these options here. Now, here's the thing. Where's the high performance mode, all right? Where's the maximum power savings mode? They are actually on the top here that I sh talked about earlier. Minimal battery use is the same as maximum power savings mode. Enhanced processing is the same as high performance mode, okay? So that's a little bit of a change they have so far. They might clean this up because it looks like it's scattered, but that's one change. Now, if I press and hold this, it doesn't go anywhere. It only resides in the notifications. Tap this, enhance processing. Tap this, high performance, all right? Uh, same stuff, again, minimal battery use is this, but if you wanna play with this guy right here, you go to your um, power savings mode under battery and make the changes right here. Other than that, mostly over here, it's all the same. Advanced settings at the bottom here, over here, if you want to go to advanced settings, you tap over here and then go to advanced settings from here. So things have moved on a little bit, all right? So that's that, let's move on. We also have some changes in our advanced settings. So if I go over here into my settings, again, let's take a look at it, scroll down, advanced features, scroll down, advanced features. Now, as you can see, we have the side key on the top, changed positions, 
We don't have the S Pen because this is not a Note device, but we do have a Samsung DeX functionality uh, sitting right here, which is good with One UI 2.5 and prior, you have to go here and access Samsung DeX from the top notifications panel. Now it has its own menu. Everything else here is almost the same, okay? We have the one-handed mode, works just like this one, not a huge difference. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video, but stay tuned, we are gonna be making more videos about One UI 3.0 very soon. Explore even more features, find all the hidden features and everything you can imagine. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.